Happy Sunday. It's Sunday, February... It's the 4th, isn't it? Super Bowl Sunday, which... I don't watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> and we have a very cold uh, rain. Uh, they said it was freezing rain, but it just is rain. Um, I wish it would come down harder than it is. It's just kind of just spitting, which is a little annoying. But it is what it is. So Avery and I had um, a couple days in a row where we had our long walks. So this morning, I moved Skelly over there by the door because he seemed a little bit cramped back in that corner. So, <laughs> so um, I've been bringing in wood. Yesterday I cut up a bunch of limbs that had fallen. Uh, for kindling, they're not super dry yet, so I'm just leaving them right next to the wood stove to dry out. And I've been doing a little bit of reading, a slight bit of writing. I will show you what I worked on yesterday. I have uh, started a new encaustic painting. Let's see if I can get a better. If I turn this light on, if it makes it a little bit better. Um, this is all actually just kind of a deep. Uh, purple and I have some ideas of what's going to go on here some uh, a take on some Eastern European um, folkloric symbology of uh, they have um, a um, deity if you will called uh, I think it's called uh, oh god Matka Anyway, it's, it's Mokosh is the name of the icon, I guess, if you will, and um, it's Moist Mother Earth, uh, you know, the, the spirit of the earth and how it nourishes and plants grow and all that sort of thing. So I've been checking out some of the, um, some of the shapes and just doing a couple of sketches and I'm waiting on some metallic foil to actually imprint the image and then mm, I'm not sure maybe do some accretion coming down I haven't figured it all out in the meantime I have printed on tissue right? And I'm going to do an experiment. When I bought my uh, pigments, uh, it came with one little arty panel. I don't know what that spot on there is. Um, a panel that's already treated with uh, encaustic gesso, I guess. And I'm going to tear around the edges and put I don't know how many layers, maybe three or four layers of wax, just just the clear wax. And I probably won't use that one because I've been dipping prints in that so the it gets a little tinted, I think. I'll use some new wax for this. And I'm going to try to float this in there to see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll just scrape it all off. But I'm still I'm still wondering about floating images in the wax without using any adhesives and I read one there's one person I follow online I think her name's Claire O'Neill and she's got a pretty um, uh, uh, how do I call this uh, extensive website oh what's it called something something about encaustic anyway she puts out um, you can do online courses with her, which I have not done yet. Uh, but she also puts out blogs like every Monday, uh, question and answers. And she, uh, on her website, has mentioned using um, tissue. And you buy just like archival tissue that's usually used to put between different prints and different kinds of artwork, uh, acid-free or whatever. So. I'm going to try it and see how, it, see how it works. Sometimes the method is used more in a collage sense, but um, 
this won't start out as collage, but this is one of Avery in the Snow out back. And um, I'm just going to do some experimenting. I'm not, I'm not very skilled at um, <laughs> playing with art. I, it's like it's all, it's all got to be worth something. Uh, so um, I've, I've got to do more of that. So that's what today will be. Uh, I did. Let me see. Did I put up any more? No, the last, the last um, items I put up on Society6 are mugs with uh, photos of seaweed, close-up photos of seaweed that I made up um, at Sea Ranch in California. They're quite nice, actually. There's, there, people have been liking them for whatever that's worth. <laughs> they've got, they've got more likes uh, than any other items on in my shop there. Um, and every once in a while, things get discounted like 20%. So I had put on my um, Ike Therese at Etsy Facebook page, which I really don't use Etsy anymore, but I can't change the name of the page. Um, uh, I had uh, posted that there was a sale. And so go, you know, if you want to go like my... Uh, art page on Facebook. I'm always, uh, whenever I blog, and I'm blogging daily these days. And it's not, it's not big long things. It's more of a sort of experimental thing with blogging this year. Um, I always uh, uh, cross post uh, to Twitter and to, not so much to Instagram, but definitely to Twitter and my Facebook, both my art page and my um, uh, personal page there. Uh, it's, uh, gosh, I don't know, it's been feeling really... <laughs> Ever since I got back from the little show up in Fairfax, I've just been incredibly unsettled and having a very difficult time getting back up on my horse and um, really moving forward with my my intentions um, but you know every day is a new day and every new moon is a new moon <laughs> and so new moon is coming up in what week and a half so I will be considering that and um, using my cards a little bit more I still you know I'm still trying to figure out what how tarot is meaningful for me in my own uh, my own personal uh, quest at understanding, self-understanding, self-awareness, and um, what is uh, kind of what is my my purpose? Because <laughs> all our purposes are not always big. Sometimes our purposes are just little or personal. Um, oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to put on some Clarissa Pincoli SDs. I listened to her CD, Seeing in the Dark. That was the first one I got of her, Seeing in the Dark, uh, on my way up and back from Fairfax. And I'm always very... Uh, I, I, it, what she expresses um, is very grounding for me in a way it 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 kind of moves my energy in the right direction so I may put some of that on today and I don't know what are we gonna do Avery where are you going where are you going you're gonna come on up you're gonna come up and see me oh of course you're gonna come up and see me of course you are yes yes you are so anyway um, so I hope you're all having a good Sunday uh, I don't think I have anything uh, else new and exciting to share. Um, <laughs> hopefully I will have something more interesting <laughs> at some point. All right. 